Hello, my lovely. So we are finally here. It is day one of the Rock Your Goddess Bikini Body Challenge. So I'm tiny, weeny, weeny bit early. I am going to put a post in the group just to let you know if you're in the group, you can refresh to see me live. We have the parrot outside, so you may hear the little squeaks in the background because he can hear me speaking, but I'm not talking to him, which aggravates slightly. So I've, if any of you have seen the video that I did earlier this morning, you'll see. I've got a bit of a tan because I came back from a trip yesterday. So it was that, oh, you know, summer holiday, let's get in the bikini, let's rock it. And it was a really good preview for me with the challenge coming up this week in the group to really feel those sensations again, to feel what it is like to put on a bikini for the first time in about a year since I've been somewhere hot enough to wear a bikini. And how does that feel? What things come up? And at first it was a little bit like, oh, okay, I'm in a bikini. Right, cool. And then it's like, yeah, you know what? That inner goddess just flowed out and it's like, actually, let's rock this because I know I look good. I may not look like everyone else. I may not look like how I'm supposedly meant to look like, but... I look good, I'm there, I'm rocking it, and I feel confident. And really, at the end of the day, that's the main thing, because how I feel is the most important thing. And then that will come across to everyone else. So I'm just going to give everyone a couple of seconds to click on if they are going to come on live. If you are watching on replay, make sure you hashtag replay so that I know you're watching. There are going to be, like last challenge, there were actions to take each day so that you can then win prizes at the end of the week. So there will be actions again this week. I will let you know what they are at the end of each video. They're small actions, really small actions, but it really is about getting you engaged with this process. I want you to take on what I'm saying, listen, and really take the action, because then when you action it, you're starting to put it into process. You're really gonna experience the benefit of what's being spoken about and actually get to embrace it and feel good about it and go forward from there. So let me just tell everyone to refresh your screens to see me live, and then we'll start. So for those of you who haven't been on holiday yet, it may be that you're coming up to the, you know, the dreaded swimwear thing. So whether it's a swimsuit, a bathing suit, a um, bikini, whatever you choose, whatever you call it, it can be daunting, especially if it's been a year or more since you've been on holiday or just that thought of like, oh, I've got to get all my bits out. You know, all that flesh that you can find ways to cover up in clothes most of the year. The summer becomes more difficult. So in the posts about this challenge, I put in about summer clothes as well, because it could just be that you're having to wear strapless tops because it's so hot and it makes you feel conscious about your arms or your shoulders or your chest, whatever it is. There's always hang ups about our bodies everyone will have things that they're not so happy with no matter what they look like so it may be that you see someone that looks like that person that you think wow they've got an amazing body and they will still have hang-ups you just won't know about them because you're not in their head you can't assume that everyone out there doesn't have any hang-ups because that's not true it's just how we take on those hang-ups how we own them how we move forward how we don't let them rule our lives that you will see because when you look at someone and you think wow they look amazing they look really confident or oh, they look really good or oh, I like what they're wearing etc etc it's not that it's how they look that you're seeing it's that glow that energy that belief that inner goddess if this is a woman god if it's a man energy coming out of them to really showcase actually you know what they feel so good within themselves that that is glowing out and that is what you're going to see so the process of this week is really about tapping into that energy for yourself so that you can embrace it you can feel it you can rock your body because you feel so content so at peace so at ease with who you are believe that you're beautiful amazing gorgeous and look great in what you're wearing and having that inner belief and then being able to showcase that because at the end of the day it is that that you need to crack it's not about losing weight toning this you know wearing that obviously you can wear things to suit your shape of course you can lose weight exercise do whatever you want to do but I don't want you to feel like burdened by those things because oh my god it's summer I need to lose two stone that's not a fun way to be it's not a nice way to experience summer 
you want to experience summer like it's nice outside today the doors are open it's like great okay i've got my t-shirt on i've got my arms out it's a crop top you probably can't see from there you know i want to feel good in what i want to wear and wear it to suit the weather to suit how i feel today evidently i'm feeling lucky because i have my lucky t-shirt on also the name of the parrot is outside his name is lucky so you know and we're away so it's the seeing each other again after a week he's missed us that's why he's making a bit of noise it is about owning what you want to wear being able to feel free i want you to feel free happy content amazing really like have that inner belief that you are enough as you stand right now you don't need to go and do a whole body transformation to feel confident this summer because it doesn't have to be that difficult it doesn't have to be a chore it doesn't have to be something that just makes you think oh my god it's summer okay let's hope for autumn comes around quickly life is right now right we spend so much time worrying about things and we miss the moment we miss this present moment right here and to embrace this moment you've got to feel content and at peace and if there is something about your life that you don't feel content and at peace about then challenge it deal with it acknowledge it move forward so that you can release that you know everything where there is a sensation you can change so if you're feeling bad about something, you can choose and make action to feel good. If your action is that you want to go and lose weight, you want to work out, you've got some a holiday at the end of the summer, say end of August, so well, what, middle of July, so you've got over a month. If you want to go and work out hard and diet and everything so that you feel good about your body, amazing, go and do that. That's your plan of action. That is going to make you feel empowered because you are taking on that change. What I'm saying to you today is don't feel that you have to do that to feel good because there are ways to feel good right now as you stand today so today i really want to talk to you about what is your biggest fear about the putting the bikini on putting the swimsuit on putting the summer clothes on like i said it may be that you want to wear strappy tops and you feel conscious about your arms it may be that you want to wear a bikini but your belly isn't quite the same as it used to be or has never been how you want it to be and you're not sure about that i want to hear those things so if you're watching replay hashtag replay i want to know what it is that makes you feel conscious about your body and how that is creating that feeling inside of you so what the feelings are so if you're with me on replay make sure you hashtag replay let me know as you go because when we identify the things that make us feel a certain way, so if it's our belly makes us feel conscious about wearing a bikini, so we feel insecure when we are then in a bikini on a beach, then we can make a change, we can make a shift, we can create change. And that is really, really powerful because acknowledging something is the first step. So today is about acknowledging the fears around the dreaded bikini, as I've labeled today, day one is the dreaded bikini day. So what are the biggest fears that you've got about sharing your body with everyone else in a way that they can see it this summer? Because summer means you're going to have to wear less clothes because it's hot, unless you're going to go somewhere cold for the summer, which obviously maybe some people would choose to do. What is it that you're unhappy about with your body? So what areas of your body are you not very happy about? You don't have to share these with me. I'm going to give you an action in a minute. But you, I want you to be thinking about this, writing it down so that you can really become aware of, okay, what are the areas of my body, of my confidence around my body that are holding me back from feeling at ease with summer because summer is an amazing time you can have some amazing experiences whether you love the sun or not you know you can be in the shade but dressed for summer and having a great time i don't need to miss out on the summer because of how you feel about your body because i've been there i've done that you know this is something i've worked through over the years and that's why i'm sharing this with you and then the last thing i want you to consider is what is the worst thing that could happen if today you were given a holiday as a you won a prize the prize is a holiday. You need to fly out today. Today, you're going to have to put your bikini or your bathing suit on and go on the beach because you've won this prize in a five star resort, somewhere amazing. You've always wanted to go. You've got to take it. And if there's this part of you that's thinking, I can't take that because I'm not ready, my body's not ready, then that is what we're going to hone in on this week and really challenge because that is the thing that's holding you back. You don't need that. So we'll pause that process for tomorrow i really want you to think about those three things so i want you to get a pen and pad and i really want you to answer these three questions i'll say them again so one what is the biggest fear about your body what is the thing that's holding you back number two what is it that you're unhappy about your body so when you think about putting a bikini or a swimsuit on or wearing summer clothes what are the areas of your body that think oh no i don't want to show that bit and then three what is the worst thing that could happen if today you want a prize to a five-star resort and the area of the world that you've always wanted to go to what is it 
the worst thing that could happen if you had to put your bikini or your swimsuit on today because if you won that prize you want to be grabbing that prize and running with it because of what an amazing present that would be and you don't want the fears around your body to be holding you back from doing that so today's action you need to like and comment on the video. So by commenting on the video, you are engaging with what I'm talking about. You can very much, very well just sit and watch me or have me on the background while you're doing something. That is great. But if you really want to see change over these four days, you need to engage. So I want you to like the video. I want you to comment. So something when I'm talking, something really ignites in you and you think, yeah, even if it's just an agreement, comment because you're then starting to engage with this process. And then your action for today is, I want you to post in the group with the hashtag Facebook challenge day one, saying what stops you wearing a bikini stroke swimsuit stroke summer wear. So maybe you don't like bikinis, you don't wear them, that's fine. What stops you wearing a swimsuit? If you're not gonna wear a swimsuit either, what stops you feeling like you're confident enough to wear the summer wear, so shorts and strappy top? Whatever the wearing is, it doesn't matter. The action is, I want you to identify in the groups, I want you to post in the group, what stops you wearing a bikini stroke, swimsuit stroke, summer wear, with the hashtag Facebook challenge day one, after you've liked and commented on the video, because there will be prizes to be won, which I will go more into as the week continues. So that is today's session, the dreaded bikini. I really want you to identify those three questions, answer those three questions for yourself. You don't need to post that in the group. I want you to answer them for yourself so that you know, okay, these are the things that are really the root of my insecurity, my worries, my anxieties about sharing my body, showcasing my body this summer. When I say sharing and showcasing, you don't have to go all out, but it's just being able to wear what you want to wear for the occasion you want to go. So if you want to go to the beach, you're going to have to wear a bikini or a swimsuit or something, summer wear. But what is it that's stopping you? So I want you to answer those three questions for yourself. Like and comment on the video so you're taking that engagement. You're owning this process. You're going to make the most of it. And then I want you to, with the hashtag Facebook Challenge Day 1, tell me what area of your body or what fear, thought, is it that stops you wearing a bikini or a swimsuit or summer wear right now? If you won that prize today, what is going to be that thing, that first thing that pops into your head? Oh, no. Because what? Oh, my belly. Oh, my bum. Whatever it is. Yeah, I want to know. Because when you acknowledge it and the group is a safe place to do it, then you start the process. You start the change that you don't have to carry on feeling this way anymore. So tomorrow I will be live again at 1030 and we are going to be stepping into your goddess energy. I've got a really nice visualization for you to really step into that energy of the goddess to own that sensation so that you can start to take on, embrace and Create the sensations of feeling confident about your body as you stand right now. So if you're watching a replay, hashtag replay, make sure you like and comment on the video. Take the action for today and I will see you tomorrow.